Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. I got interested in wood turning through my father, Art, and I decided to start working on it after I worked with my brother for two and a half years in a body shop where I learned how to look at a finish and buff a finish. And that's kind of how we got to such a shiny finish on all the wood products. Most people use like lacquer, it's kind of a dull, more like the littler piece, but this one makes everybody think it's pottery. My first wood turning, um, a world famous wood turner told me it was very impressive. And I was just thinking, it's a baseball bat, but <laughs> oh well. Everything starts as a board, gets run through the table saw and stripped into strips similar to this. And then we cut everything into rhombuses and glue the rhombuses into rings. And then glue all the edges and clamp them. Once the glue dries, you get something that looks like this. And a little bumpy, you know, gonna have to sand it on both sides so you can get a good glue joint again before you clamp it to make something similar to this. And this is what they look like after they've all been stacked before they've been turned on the inside. They also have an example of a turning from the inside. And after that, you get the other half and sand the face of this all the way around so you have a good glue joint again, clamp them, and start turning the outside, which is what I can show you now. It's gonna get dusty. Started out with a three pound ball of oil-based clay doing sculptures and then I was about, I don't know, I'd say 13. And I started doing craft shows with Sculpey and just kind of branched out from there. <laughs> All right, this should be good. Now I gotta take them over to the clamp any oil on that, but it's really simple. These are both measured to about the same size on the inside. So you won't be able to see anything when they get put together. Just standard wood glue. Nothing too fancy. Alright, stick the two together, twist them a little to spread the glue. Let them sit for a couple of seconds. Make sure you line up all the glue joints. Otherwise, it'll fall apart on you. Just kind of firms it up so that it doesn't slide once you clamp it. Spreads the weight out so you don't crush the thing. Make sure that it didn't move too far. Twist it down, let it sit for about 10 minutes. This one is actually made from the same cut list as this, so it will should come out to a similar shape. The insides turn a little bit different, so to get a thin enough wall, I'll have to change it a tad, but not too much. Just pull that out of there and put this in the lathe and start turning it for you guys. Gotta work. Check and make sure it's centered on the outside. And it's close enough to turn because I have enough wall thickness on the inside. Set your rest so you can make your first couple of cuts. I'm gonna start with the bottom of this piece. Turn it on again. Now this is the hard part. Learning how to use a chisel is quite a task. I still don't really know how, and I've been doing this for a year and a half. But the key apparently is to ride the heel, which is a little different. You can't start out like that. But before you do anything major, you want to get the outside just round. And I've actually discovered that wood makes a different sound when it's a certain thickness. 
I don't know if I discovered it, but... Most people think it's glasswork or glazed clay. They don't really think that it's wood at all. They don't think you, most people haven't seen this in so many years. It's almost a dead art. People in my generation have no idea. I've had people come up and ask me, did you cut a bunch of veneers and glue them to a piece of pottery? One thing that's unique about my woodwork is I concentrate more on the type of wood I'm going to use and the shape and size of the piece rather than other segmented artists that would try and laminate some kind of crazy pattern into their wood turning. And not necessarily have the nicest form, but a form that complements the pattern that they made. I would rather have a form that complements the wood grain and just use a solid piece of wood or put an accent ring or two in. I have only been doing this for about a year now and I'm constantly trying new things, different techniques, learning all kinds of different things. So I do do commission work and if you would like to order one, you can contact me through my website. Um, our craftwoodproducts.com, craft is spelled with a K. A little different. I like this. It's coming out. There we are. Well, that's it for the turning. Now all I need to do is sand this guy down, take all the tool marks off of it. <laughs> Let's do that. Now that we're all sanded, we have this ready for finish. And glaze will never come out with a nice wood grain. This guy, you can do a thing called grain matching and just kind of take a stick and alternate. But this one's just randomly assorted and you can get, you get to pick your favorite side. I like this one. <laughs> if you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.